Assalamu alaikum. Uh, peace be upon you. My name is Lakani from Islamic Society of Odessa. We would like to thank the candidates, uh, Mr. John Burrow and Mr. Ricky Allen, and all the audience. Thank you for giving us your time. Islamic Society has been in Odessa for almost 40 years, and we have grown <laughs> from a very small community to over a thousand people in congregation. We have about 200 students children at the Sunday school at the center, and it's a very fast-growing community, and uh, most of the people know that the Muslim community in Augusta is very educated and quite successful, and uh, we have been, uh, very, you know, asset to the, the community and to the country. Muslims are uh, U.S. citizens, and uh, they contribute quite a bit to the progress of the country. We are on this side of the Atlantic, we are not on the other side. And uh, again, thank you again for everybody coming here. And Dr. Father, continue. Thank you. Thank you for the audience. The American Muslim community is worried about their rights and their safety given the rising Islamophobia in the USA. How are you going to contribute to educate educating your colleagues in Congress to understand that not all Muslims are terrorists. Mr. Barrett. I think I do it by example, by treating every law-abiding citizen alike. That's what the framers intended. That's what we should do. As Christians, as Jews, as Protestants, Gentiles, Catholics, that's what we should do, and that's what I do. I also believe in the Constitution. I think it applies to everybody. I don't think it applies to just some folks. And folks who mix their politics up with their religion, I think we need to respect Folks who are mixing it up need to recognize that respect for religion doesn't mean we suspend our laws either. I think we ought to treat everybody with respect. And I think, you know, frankly, um, the manner in which we came here today uh, reflects a concern that some folks have about the way in which folks are treated in this country. I wanted to respond to the opportunity to debate no matter who was extending the invitation, and I did. And I'll continue to do so, because I think it's important for everybody to know that this community it takes all kinds to make a community, just like it takes all kinds to make a world. It takes all kinds to make the United States of America. As long as you're committed to the Constitution and the things that it stands for, freedom of religion, freedom to practice your own religion, as long as you, that's your policy, you can find a welcome place in this country, and I'm going to be a welcome partner with you. Thank you, Mr. Barrow. <coughs> Mr. Allen. The American Muslim community is worried about their rights and safety given the rising Islamophobia in the USA. How are you going to contribute to educating your colleagues in Congress to understand that not all Muslims are terrorists? Well, I agree with uh, John Barrow. We need uh, to have, uh, you need to be welcome, particularly at a debate of this magnitude. Because the facts uh, need to be addressed. Now, uh, the, the question was as far as where we would meet today. Again, I want to thank Columbia County for providing this facility. I, you know, I think that John Barrow should be asked the question is why he insisted that the debate be in the Islamic Center. Now, the idea behind this is we want to make everybody feel welcome at every facility, okay? Now, I detest what is going on in the Middle East, and I know it turns your stomach to, and it must be stopped. And what I want from everyone who's a citizen of this country to speak out and speak out horribly against it. That's what I want to see from every religion. You know, we must stop this radicalism. And I believe that our country is doing everything we can to, to stop it. But we need everybody's help to stop it. It must be condemned, it must be stopped, and I would ask all of us to come together as people, citizens of this country, and agree on that. And I think we'll be able to stop it. Thank you. Steve, I need to respond to the statement of fact that's simply not true. 
I did not insist that the debate be held anywhere. I accepted an invitation to a debate that had been extended honorably by respected members of our community. That invitation had already been accepted by my opponent. He'd accepted as to the time, he'd accepted as to the place. And then it was offered to us to accept or not. And we accepted. If I were to insist on anything, if you know why it is that we have the same moderators, the same sponsors, the same place, at the same time, the only thing that's different is the place. Yeah. If I were to ask, insist on anything, I'd want to know the answer to that. But it wasn't because of anything that I did. I accepted the invitation that was extended and already accepted by my opponent. And I just want to set the record straight on that. Thank you, Mr. Rick Allen. Thank you, Mr. John Barrow, for accepting our invitation to come here. Uh, thank you, everybody, again. Uh, I just want to make a statement for the fact also. I am the only person who sent the letter of invitation to both camps simultaneously. And both camps responded with acceptance of the time, the place, on September 12th. I got confirmation from both camps. So that's what a statement of fact. Anyway, I do appreciate I'm the fact so that happy, I'm so happy you brought out the truth of that. His office sent okay. out a press release saying we were not showing up for the debate. I'm sorry, just, just to finish this, yeah. still very thankful for Palmer County yeah. to allow this place to be used. And the last minute, which really deprived many people from attending the event, because in the Islamic Center, if you are willing to visit, you will find a place at least 800 people in a very nice, comfortable place. So that's the only thing I really feel regret about. Other than that, I thank everybody who came, and we'll see you another time. Thank you.